The Bulgarian Empire is a shadow of its former self. Decades of internal strifes, revolts, and foreign invasions has weakened the Empire. It is defenseless, vulnerable to foreign invasion. I don't want any of the foreign powers to absorb it before I do so. Let's act quickly. I will assemble my army in Constantinople to march directly to capital Tarnovgrad. It will be challenging to capture Tarnovgrad since it has strong fortifications. No matter though, there is no castle that our legions cannot break into. We will assault the southern gate where the walls are relatively weaker. I will order our siege engines to strike one point at the walls repeatedly. Hopefully we will bring it down. We have a breach. Let's attack through it to push Bulgarian defenders back. Their armor are not sufficient to withstand against assault of our heavily armored legionaries. Tarnovgrad is ours. Let's quickly capture surrounding towns to establish our presence. The Bulgarian Emperor will have no choice but to show himself if we occupy the heart of his empire long enough. We have spotted the enemy forces. They are outnumbered. Let's quickly defeat them to finish the war. I will crush their center with my legions. Infantry! Formation! Charge! Heavy cavalry! Attack them from behind! The enemy army retreats. Victory is ours. I will enforce my peace terms to annex the whole kingdom. Bulgaria is ours once again. I will rule as the king of Bulgaria until I decide who is going to sit on the Bulgarian throne. I am going to find someone from my dynasty who is capable enough so I can focus on the matters along the eastern frontier. I have offered the King of Cilician Armenia protection against the Seljuks if they become a vassal of the Empire, but my generous proposal is refused. So, in order to protect Kingdom of Cilicia, I have to integrate it into the Empire by force. I will split my forces into two. The main army will besiege Tarsus while the second army under the command of my brother Duke Ioannis seek out the enemy army to force it into battle. I will give the command of our heavy cavalry to him. Let's occupy their capital in Tarsus in order to establish presence in the region. From there we can spread our propaganda to fully occupy the country by citing that we are protecting it from the Seljuks. I don't wish fellow Christians to perish so I will keep the occupation as short as possible. Send in all the legions. Take the city before the night. I will order my siege engines to create a breach in the castle's wall so we can enter the city. Don't harm any citizen. Just fight your way through the keep and push back the defenders. They will leave the city in our hands soon enough. Tarsus is captured. Let's annihilate the enemy army to legitimize our rule in Cilicia. I will order my brother to engage in battle with the enemy forces as quickly as possible. We have the upper hand thanks to our superior cavalry forces. If we can crush their center while holding ours long enough, we will have an opportunity to attack their center from the flanks. I will order my cavalry to attack enemy's flanks to push their cavalry back.
Send in the legions. Stand and fight. Don't give ground. Send in the cavalry! We have won the battle. With this victory, the war is over. We are the new masters of Region of Cilicia. Annexation of Cilicia has created border between us and the Crusader state of Jerusalem. Moreover, we have surrounded the Sejuks from all sides. Soon enough, we will take Asia Minor back from the Turks. But first, I must force certain someone to bend the knee to a true emperor. Let's expand our barracks in Constantinople. I will create a new model of a legion and station them in our capital. Stationing them in Constantinople will provide them with greater attack and toughness values. They will be our first new Imperial Legion regiment. It is time to reform Scoutatoy Heavy Infantry. Named after the Scouten, a large oval, round or kite-shaped shield. Their armor and weapons were modeled following ancient Seleucid and Hellenistic infantry equipment and patterns. They were very good at defending against the enemy charges and holding the center. But it is not enough now. I want them to crush our enemy's centers, so I will remodel them after the Imperial Legions of the Roman Army. They will have swords and pillum along with their traditional scout on shield. While my brothers are fighting in the eastern frontier against the Seljuks, I have to deal with the pretenders. Alexios II of Magus Komnenos dynasty has allied himself with the Georgian Queen Barbare. He thinks this alliance will protect him from my wrath. It is crucial to take Trebizond in order to legitimize my rule as the Eastern Roman Emperor, since Alexios is the only person who has claim on the Imperial throne. Let's assemble the army in Constantinople to sail to Trebizond. Capturing Trebizond is our first priority, since it is the power base of the Komnenos dynasty. Then we can attack nearby settlements or smaller armies of Alexios using Trebizond's resources. I will include our new Imperial Legion Regiment in this campaign to see how they will perform. Let's take that city for Rome. Send in the legions! Take the walls! Stand and fight! Don't give ground! Trebizond is ours. Our Imperial Legions performed flawlessly in capturing the castle. Let's use its resources to take surrounding settlements. If we occupy the coastal settlements fast enough, we may not need to fight the Georgians. Alexio sues for peace, allowing us to annex the Trebizond. 
He will be my vassal, so I need to improve relations with him to gain his and his family's obedience to the Imperial Throne. Finally, the Eastern Roman Empire completely united under the banner of Pila Logos Dynasty. I will relocate the Imperial Legions to Serbia in order to quell a rebellion against my ally, the King of Serbia. We will meet the rebel army on the battlefield. Their numbers are way smaller than us, so it will be an easy battle. We have captured rebel leader. The civil war in Serbia is over. Let's return to Constantinople to plan our next conquest. The Seljuk Sultanate of Rum is at civil war. Perfect opportunity for the Imperial Legions to take back Asia Minor and push the Turkish Beyliks out. Let's commence a full-scale war to reconquer Anatolia. I will move directly into their capital to lay siege to it. Hopefully we will capture the Child Sultan and finish the war easily. Later we may need to fight rebellious bays in order to fully conquer the Sultanate. We have captured the Sultanate's capital, but it seems the child Sultan was escaped with his retinue. Let's occupy the surrounding settlements. Soon, we will locate him to attack his position. It seems the civil war is over and the Seljuks have new Sultan. No matter though, our goal is the same. Let's attack the new capital of the Sultanate. Hopefully we will find the new Sultan there. Seljuks are severally weakened by the civil war, so there is no united army to stop our advance. We have captured the capital, but the Sultan is not here. Our scouts have reported the Sultan Nuruddin is at north with his army. Let's march north to meet him. We are being ambushed! Form ranks! Hold your ground! Courage, lads! Don't give in to fear! The enemy army retreats. Victory is ours. We have captured the Sultan of Seljuks. With this victory, we can finally reintegrate Anatolia into our realm. Now, we have an opportunity to kick out the Turkish bays from our lands slowly, but surely. With victory over the Seljuks, we have reversed the effects of disastrous Battle of Manzikert. 
We have reached 1070 borders once again. From here, we will start the restoration of our Golden Age borders. Trebizond, Asia Minor, Bulgaria, and Cilicia have been integrated into the Empire. Soon, we will strike Venetians and their Crusader allies to take back Crete and Cyprus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Goodbye.